Hi everyone, so welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be on my hair dye collection, but it's going to be a little bit deeper than just a collections video because I'm going to be talking about the differences between the different hair dye brands and which ones I recommend for different occasions. And basically it's going to be kind of in-depth. So yeah, so I've been dyeing my hair with semi-permanent dyes for about the last three years. And I've dyed my hair so many colors. <laughs> I, I actually got to the point where I felt like I was kind of obsessed with dyeing my hair because I was changing my hair color like every week. Like, it was bad. Like, my friends were like, why is your hair different? We just saw you last week. Like, you know? So I really kind of developed kind of, I guess, a knowledge about these different hair dye brands. And so I wanted to share with you guys in this video. So without further ado, let's just get started. Hi lovelies, welcome to DL's Health and Beauty. Don't forget to click that little subscribe button below and press this bell so you won't miss out on any of my new videos. Okay, so I have a couple of bags of dyes like right here in this like vicinity. So I think we're going to start with purples because purples is like one of my favorite colors to dye my hair. I didn't used to care for purple but I'm really starting to love it. Especially to add like highlights to my hair. I just think it looks so nice and... It's just become a favorite of mine. Purple and red are like my favorite colors to dye my hair lately. So red has been my favorite for years, but purple is like taking over right now. So I'm going to start with the purples. Okay, so I'm going to start with the one and only Argon Oil Hair Dye. This is what the packaging looks like. Um, I really haven't tried this color yet. I really do want to try it because it is ammonia free. You don't need a developer and it's supposed to last six to eight washes. But I just haven't tried it yet. I think just because it's in this form and I'm used to using like the tubs. <laughs> I just, it's kind of intimidating for me so I just haven't tried it. But I really do want to try this. I think what I'll do is on Instagram, I will upload a picture of how it looks and just let you guys know what I think of it. But I definitely want to try this because it has argon oil in it. So it's supposed to kind of repair any damage to your hair and just make your hair look really nice. So I'm really looking forward to trying this one. Next is Arctic Fox. Now, this is pretty popular amongst people who dye their hair a lot. I really like the Arctic Fox dyes. Now, there is a downside to the Arctic Fox dyes because the only downside really is that there's not a lot of colors. I think they have only like eight colors, so they don't have much of a selection. Um, but it is definitely, there's no alcohol in it, there's no peroxide, there's no ammonia, and it's supposed to be really good for your hair. Um, I really do like this dye. This purple dye actually faded to a pink on me and it was a really pretty pink so I really really liked it a lot. Another perk to the Arctic Fox dyes is that it actually, it changes to like a, um, it has a smell, a bubblegum smell. So like instead of smelling like chemicals, like when you normally open a dye, you smell like that strong chemical smell. This actually smells nice. It smells like bubblegum. This is actually, I've kind of developed kind of an intuitive, intuitive intuitive feeling about dyes at this point and I kind of feel like the Arctic Fox dyes are better for your hair than say like Manic Panic. I just kind of felt like it was a little bit more just healthy for your hair. I think also the fact that it doesn't have that chemically smell I think that it's much lighter on chemicals than like the Manic Panic ones. 
So I just felt like overall, I felt like this was a healthier option for my hair. I have noticed a difference between dyes from dyeing my hair so often that some dyes do make my hair feel kind of, it doesn't make my hair look damaged because semi-permanent dyes don't damage your hair. In fact, they're recommended for damaged hair because they have such strong conditioning agents in them. But it just, I find that the ones that are really chemically based tend to make my hair just look less vibrant and you know like my hair doesn't look damaged it just looks a little bit drier does that make sense i'm not making sense right now <laughs> it makes sense to me but it's hard to explain it but this is definitely one that i do recommend because you know it's just one of those brands that i feel like i don't like that chemical smell so i do really appreciate that and this brand does not test on animals Okay, so next is the Enrage dyes. Okay, so I need to explain these a little bit. Okay, so there's a difference between demi-permanent dyes and semi-permanent dyes. Semi-permanent dyes do not last nearly as long. Demi-permanent dyes can last anywhere from 12 to 24 washings. So it's definitely a much more long-term option. It lasts a lot longer. Um, now, demi-permanent dyes are different from semi-permanent dyes in the sense that it's usually mixed with, like, a developer. So, you know, the developers contain hydrogen peroxide so if your hair is damaged I don't recommend a demi permanent dye but if you're someone who wants your hair to be like a wild color like purple pink or green for a longer period of time with low maintenance demi permanent dyes are definitely the way to go now demi permanent dyes they don't have ammonia either just like semi permanent dyes don't at least I don't think I've ever seen a semi permanent dye with ammonia I'm pretty sure they usually don't because they're for conditioning and for like damaged hair so yeah so they don't contain ammonia and so it is a nice option. Now I haven't actually tried this color because it's so long lasting. And as I mentioned before, I was changing my hair like every week. So this just does not suit the lifestyle that I've kind of adopted. I had planned on like sticking with one color, but it just kind of didn't happen. <laughs> so I haven't tried this yet. Um, again, I think if I do try this, which I don't think I'm going to try it anytime soon because I just get so bored my colors so fast. But if I do try this, I will definitely let you guys know and I'll upload pictures on Instagram. But yeah, I haven't tried this one yet. This is also another one of those brands where they don't have a lot of color options. I think they only have like about eight colors as well. So, you know, there's just not a huge a selection. I have three Manic Panic dyes. I have the color Violet Night, Purple Haze, and Electric Amethyst. I really, really like the Manic Panic dyes, however, the issue that I have with them is they are very chemically, so I do feel like they will affect your hair negatively over time. But the colors are so vibrant. Okay, so the next dye is the Ink Works Purple Hair Dye. I only have two hair dyes by Ink Works. I have a pink and the purple. Um, now, this one is by Paul Mitchell. They don't have a lot of colors. I believe they only have six colors. Um, but I got this just to try it because, you know, I'm really into these dyes, so I wanted to try it. Um, I did try it. I think I wasn't really all that impressed with it. It was just okay. I wasn't like, there's nothing really special that I have to say about it. It worked. It was okay. And that's it. <laughs> I don't really have a lot to say about it, but there's only six colors. So I think that's one of the reasons it's probably not mentioned all that much because there's just not much of a selection. Here's the Inkworks hot pink color. I have not tried this color yet. When I do try it, I will let you guys know on Instagram. But I did buy it because it looks like a dark pink. But I normally don't buy light colors like pinks or pastels. But I am looking forward to trying this. Okay, so next are my Adore dyes. These bad boys right here. <laughs> um, I have quite a bit to say about this. So just get comfortable. Okay, so the Adore dye. This is the kind of dye that I recommend if you just want to dye your hair for a special occasion. You want it to last a week and that's it. Now, purples do fade the fastest out of, like, the different wild colors available. So, maybe it's because it is a purple mixed with the fact that it's the Adore brand. Now, the Adore brand is not long-lasting at all. People who dye their hair a lot and want it to be low-maintenance and want it to last as long as possible will not like this brand. Because this brand, the thing about this is that I would apply this to my hair and it faded without me washing it. It just faded on its own. So, I think it oxidizes. So when it's exposed to oxygen, it just fades, you know, the oxygen in the air. So it's kind of a problem because if you want your hair color to last, this is one of those dyes where because it fades in like a week without you even washing it, you would have to reapply it every week. And that's kind of high maintenance. So if you're really into dyeing your hair, 
you're probably not gonna like this at the same time i really do like the adore dyes and the reason i like them is because i feel like they're really healthy for my hair i feel like my hair just really likes them i don't feel like there's any issues with them um, they just, my hair feels really good when I use it. And it also has a clean smell to it. It doesn't have that chemical smell. And the Adore dyes have so many color options. Like, I believe they have like 25 to 40 hair dyes. 25, 35, 40. They have a lot of different hair dyes. And the colors that they have are such a wide range from like different shades of brown. They have reds. They have natural and unnatural colors available. So this is something that I would recommend using if you just want to test to see like if a certain hair color looks good on you. Instead of having to deal with something long term, I would recommend grabbing an Adore dye and just applying it letting it just naturally fade because it will fade i'm telling you <laughs> it will fade really quick so it would be a good test without you having to worry about it damaging your hair or it staying too long so it's definitely not long lasting but i do really like these dyes they're definitely not for everyone they are more for special occasions or just to test um but you know i mean because who has time to reapply it like every week you know but I do like them. I really do like them. I don't know. I think a lot of people don't like them, but I kind of, I like them. Um, I just feel like they're a really cool option, and I do reach for them quite a bit. And I feel like this, the rich eggplant is such a pretty purple. Like, oh my gosh. So I do love them, and I do definitely recommend them for things like prom and stuff like that. And again, there's no alcohol, there's no peroxide, and there is no ammonia. Okay, so I do want to mention this one actually. This is, um, as since I'm leaving the purples, I want to mention this. I do have an Adore blue black dye. Now I do, I want to mention this because I don't dye my hair blacks anymore, but this is a semi permanent dye. So it faded just like all the other Adore's. They, it faded fairly quickly. This one lasted a little bit longer than the purples. I feel like it faded in about two weeks. So either way, Adore dyes are not long lasting. Like either way, like I mean, because black is hard to remove. So if even a blue black can fade in like two weeks, <laughs> it's not long lasting. Um, but aside from that, I want to say that I did like how this faded. I it's a kind of funny story. My boyfriend at the time was like, I did look like a teacher because it's faded to like a grayish color, and I really liked it. I thought it was really pretty. <laughs> but it's just kind of funny because he's like, your hair is like gray. But I thought it was pretty. You know, gray is in right now, okay? It's in. And it was even in then. So I thought it looked hot. But I did want to mention too, the Adore dyes are very watery in consistency. Like, um, they actually went through a napkin and they will stain anything below a napkin, a paper towel. They're that watery that they will actually go through a paper towel. My other dyes are much thicker in consistency. So I think it is because the Adore dyes are so watery that they fade so quickly. I think that there's just not a lot of the agents in it to make it stick to the hair better. So I think the watery consistency is really why it's just not long lasting. Okay, so I do want to mention one more before I completely go into the green dyes that I have. This is the Garnier Color Styler. It's an intense washout color. I bought this just to try it because I was like curious about washout colors. But I'm too chicken to use it, honestly. I mean, it's supposed to wash out after two to three shampoos, which that's kind of long to me. I mean, you know, if it's supposed to wash out, I kind of expect it to like wash out like the first time I wash it. <laughs> Not a month later of washings <laughs> you know since i wash my hair once a week i mean because two to three shampoos that's like three weeks later that's kind of long of her washout dye and that's exactly why i'm afraid to use this and why i haven't used it yet my sister used a wash a washout dye and <laughs> she said it actually stained her hair and it did not wash out so i'm kind of chicken to use this i'm hoping no one day gets the courage to use it honestly i mean considering my hair is brown anyway i guess it wouldn't really matter if i used it right now anyway 
Um, but again, I guess if I use it, I will let you guys know. I'll take a picture on Instagram and let you know what I think of it. But I really do want to try it. I'm just really chicken because I feel like it really won't wash out. <laughs> My sister scared me with that story about how it stayed in her hair. So I was like, but I'm hoping to get the courage to use this soon because I did want to try it. Okay, so I'm going to move on to the greens because I wanted to do reds because, you know, I love reds. But I was like, I have only a few greens, so let me just go through them. Okay, so I only have one Arctic Fox. This is the color Phantom Green. You guys know I like Arctic Fox. Okay, so uh, I have to talk about this one. This is the Jerome Russell Punky Color. <sighs> I'm just going to straight out say it. I hated this. Like, I have not touched it since I used it the first time. I hate it. That's, that's the best word to say it. It left my hair with a greasy feeling to it that I couldn't seem to get out. It got that greasy feeling got in my brush. And I just hated it. Like, and it didn't even take well to my hair. I had to go to a Manic Panic Green dye because this didn't even take. Like, this was one of those dyes that I was so annoyed with and frustrated. I just don't like it. I just don't like it. I don't know what else to say. I just, I don't like it. Okay, so I'm going to just put this down because it's upsetting me to remember it. I don't like it. Okay, so now we're going to get to the Manic a Panic Enchanted Forest. Okay, so this dye, so the color is deceptive. It looks blue, like the bottle looks blue, and even inside, I believe it looks kind of blue. Yeah, even when you like open it, it looks blue. Oh my god, I got dye on my nails. This is so real right now, you guys. Like, look at this little dye. I don't know if you can see the dye on my nails. <laughs> now on my fingers. Look at that. <laughs> anyway, yes. <clears throat> okay, so this actually looks blue like on the outer part of the container and it looks blue inside, but it's actually deceptive. It is a very, a very green color. I believe I have a picture that I took with this. I believe so. Like it looks really green, like a forest green. It's enchanted forest because it's really a forest green. It's a green green. I believe I do have a picture. I will like just kind of <laughs> shit like attach it here if I do have one. I believe I do. But yes, it is a very green color. I did like this when I was dyeing my hair green. I was really into dyeing in green for a while, and now I'm just not really about that life. But I used to. I especially used to like going for like a kind of brassy color that's like kind of like a brassy brown color mixed with some green. I was like really into that, <laughs> but I'm just not about that life now. I'm really into purples and reds, but it is a very green color, and if you're into green, like, like forest green, you will love this. So, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna move to blues. <laughs> I'm saving reds for last because I have so many red hair dyes. Okay, so with blues, I do want to mention I cannot seem to get blues to work for me. I don't know. If you've dyed your hair blue and it was successful, please let me know what the secret is to it. I have never been able to get it to work ever. My hair, the blues take so well to my hair that it just comes out looking black. Like it's just you can't even see the blue. And it takes several washings for me to actually get it to look blue and then it's just so hard to wash out and like change the color once I do it blue because it takes so well that I just can't get it out so uh, blue is so frustrating for me I've tried applying the blue with conditioner and I still couldn't seem to get it right I don't know I think I'm maybe missing something I don't know but with that aside I do want to mention the blues that I do have do want to mention I have one Inkworks blue. It's pretty blue, isn't it? <laughs> yes, I think this one was one of the ones I actually had a little bit more success with. Um, I feel like it was less black, you know, than some of the other ones were on me. So this one was, this one was okay. As you can see, I used more of it. <laughs> so I think um, this one worked a little bit better for me when I mixed it with conditioner. It just took a little bit better. 
Okay, so now I'm going to go to the Arctic Fox. By the way, you guys, I had to do a little bit of cleanup. Do you see this? Like, I'm green and blue. Look, look at this. Like, I had to do some cleanup and my nail is still green. Like, my fingers look like, so like... <laughs> Okay, so I have two Arctic Fox eyes. You guys know how I feel about them. This is the Arctic Fox in the shape of Sidon. And this is the one in Aqua Marine. And... I have, okay, so this one is the Blue Mayhem. I've used quite a bit of this one. The special effects dies. I do want to say something about these. I feel like these are really popular in the UK. I don't know why. I just kind of get that feeling. I think because when I was, like, really, I used to be so into, like, dyeing my hair that I was, like, obsessed with watching YouTube videos on it. I would look up people's hair dyes, like, the colors they've done. And just, like, I was, like, obsessed. Like, that was, like, my hobby. Um, but special effects, I want to say, I feel like the special effects is pretty much identical to the Manic Panic. I mean, there are some differences, like, with Manic Panic, there are some of their dyes that bleed so bad. And if you don't know what I mean by bleeding, I mean, like, it's supposed to, the water's supposed to start to become a little bit clearer as you wash the dye out. And as you get ready to style your hair and everything, but some of the manic panic dyes bleed so badly, like the water doesn't stop running with the color, and they will get all your clothes, your pillows, and everything, and it can be really destructive. <laughs> so, yes, yeah, some manic panic dyes are really destructive. I've had one dye, which I'm actually going to mention in this video, I've been dying to throw it away. It's been in my empties bag, and I'm like, I'm going to throw it away, I'm going to do it, and I just haven't done it, but I'm going to do it after this video. And I think I'm going to throw away the Dermal Muscle because I'm not touching it ever again, so I'm going to throw that away in this video as well. Um... So, yeah, I've been kind of holding on to them because I knew I was going to do this video. <laughs> so I'm going to throw them away, like, today. Um, but the special effects, I feel like it is identical to Manic Panic. I, some people are so into special effects, okay? Like, they are really into it. Some people, they say that it lasts longer than the Manic Panic. I didn't personally feel that way about it. Now, it may be because I was focusing on using the blues by men, by special effects instead of, like, you know, their purples or one of the other colors. But I just felt like it didn't last any longer than Manic Panic. I felt like they lasted about the same. But I personally do not really care for the special effects dyes, which some people who are really into it and love these dyes are going to be like, what's wrong with her? But I don't like it. And it's not that it's like a bad dye necessarily. I felt like these bled less than some of the Manic Panic dyes. That I did find to be true. However, I do feel like they last about the same amount of time as Manic Panic and I feel like the color is less vibrant. That is my issue with the special effects dyes. Like, I just wasn't impressed with the vibrancy. I felt like it was much more of a muted color than the Manic Panic. Like, the Manic Panic, whenever I wear their dyes, people are always like, oh, your hair is so nice. Like, the color is so nice. But with special effects, it's just like, eh, it's okay. You know, it's just not, it's not vibrant. Like, in your face, bam, vibrant. And that's what I just didn't like about it. To the point where I actually gave away quite a few of my special effects dyes. I sent them to my sisters. Yeah, because I just wasn't impressed with it. Um... But I think, I do feel like it bleeds less than some of the Manic Panic ones, so. Yeah, but I'm just not really impressed with it, and I stopped buying them because I'm just not impressed with the special effects dyes. So I have two more blue dyes that I do want to mention. Okay, so I do have the Adore Indigo Blue. You guys know I like Adore. And then um, the Indigo Blue was another one. It faded really nice on me. Like, 
it's really nice. Okay, now the other one I have is the Crazy Color, the Capri Blue. And I believe this is the only color, crazy color dye that I have. Now, this is another one that I feel is really popular in the UK. I heard so much about this dye that I was like, I really wanted to try it. Like, in general, I've heard so much good stuff about the crazy color dyes that I really wanted to try it. And so I bought it for that reason. <clears throat> Um, I actually haven't had a chance to try this yet. When I do get a chance to try it, I will definitely let you guys know. Um, actually, no, I think I have one or two more dyes by them. I got, like, a red or, or something. But, yeah, when I get to try this, I will definitely let you guys know. But I haven't tried the crazy color dyes yet, so. Yeah, I will definitely take a picture and let you guys see it. Like, I'll post it on Instagram and tell you what I thought about it. <laughs> I actually found two more blue dyes. <laughs> so this is the crazy color sky blue. I told you I had a feeling I had another one. This is it. So the other one was Capri Blue. This one is a sky blue. I haven't tried it either. I guess I haven't tried any of the crazy color dyes yet. Now this one, this was the Clairol Professional in the color Cool Freud. This is one of those dyes that will cover gray. It's like um it's ammonia free and the reason I haven't used it is because it requires a developer and I did mention that the developers tend to have the developers have hydrogen peroxide which can damage your hair um, you know so I just don't want to damage my hair it's in a, my hair's in a really good place and I just don't want to damage it or risk it so that's why I haven't used it now this is supposed to be a safer one this is a professional use dye I got it in that store where you buy like hair dyes not Ulta not Ulta. What am I thinking about? Um, I can't think of the name of it. <laughs> anyway, this one's supposed to be one of those safer ones. It has the soy fourplex, which is supposed to be what you use for like really bleached and damaged hair. That's supposed to kind of help it a lot. So it's supposed to be a better dye. And I did mention, I think, that it covers grays. And it's supposed to last up to 24 washes. So, yeah. But I just don't want to risk using a dye that requires a developer I just don't want to damage my hair or take a risk so that's why I haven't used it and I probably will never use it but I'm just holding on to it because you never know you know Okay, guys, we're in the final stretch right now. We're at the red, so I guess. I have so much hair dye. Like, it's just kind of crazy. And I've actually emptied out so many bottles, so this is not even, like, my lifetime amount. And a lot of these bottles are, like, half full. Okay, so I only have one Manic Panic dye. I emptied out a lot of Manic Panic red, so this is my only one that I have left is the Vampire Red, which is actually a very, very popular color is the Vampire Red. Okay, now, La Riche. La Riche. I don't, I'm probably butchering that, so I'm going to stop. Okay, so AKA La Riche is also called Direction. So these are the Direction dyes. I feel like this brand is very popular in the UK as well. I have several of their colors. Um, I feel like they're similar to Manic Panic, and I do like them quite a bit. Um, but like I said, they're very similar to Manic Panic. Um, yeah, so I don't really have all that much to say other than that, and I do use them a lot. So this is the Pillar Box where I look how pretty, that's kind of like a ready purple pink color. I have the Vermilion Red, this one is also quite popular. This is the Rubine, I feel like I've seen a lot of YouTubers use this one too. This is the Dark Tulip, oh, the Dark Tulip is so pretty, like, oh, look at that, like, ah, oh, it's like a purpley red, it's so pretty. I use this one a lot. And then I have the poppy red. Do you see how red that is? Like, it's a pop. Like, oh my gosh. This is like a bam in your face. I've used like half this bottle. Like, look at this. Like, oh my God. Like, I use a lot of red hair dyes. Now, smell. It does kind of have a chemical-y smell, but I feel like it's kind of muted. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. Um, okay, I think that's all I have to say about the LaRiche Direction dyes. So...
guys, Via Naturals. Um, these are part of my, I bought these kind of towards the end of all this dyeing that I've been doing. And I started to buy them because I felt like using the Manic Panic so much was kind of not good for my hair health-wise. I just felt like it was maybe affecting my hair in a negative way in the long run. Because the Manic Panic, I do feel like it's very, very heavy chemical base. Like, very, very heavy chemical base. So I just felt like it wasn't really good for my hair. So I went to the Via Naturals. Um, now, it is watery formula, you guys. Like, can you hear this? Yeah, that shit's watery. <laughs> okay, so it will go through a napkin. It will stain anything, like paper, towel. It will go through it. So it's a watery dye. Now, ironically enough, even though it's a watery dye, I feel like it lasts longer than the Adore dyes considerably longer because I felt like this lasted like two to three weeks. So I don't know. It's weird. Um, but I have a four of them. Ah, four of them. Like, two of them. Okay, so the naturals, these are definitely much more on the natural side, and they are super cheap. Like, I think they're like five bucks, but it is really small, like, compared to the Manic, well, no, maybe it's about the same, like, I feel like you get more with the Manic Panic than this. Like, what is the sizes on 88 milliliters, 60 milliliters? Yeah, it's pretty small, so it is definitely a smaller, <laughs> um, but I do like these, and I do feel like they are better on the hair if you are health conscientious. I recommend like either the Via Naturals, the Adore dyes, or the um, what is it? Why am I not thinking of it right now? <laughs> the Arctic Fox. If you're definitely you know concerned about health, I definitely recommend one of those three brands. Um, but yes, this is really nice. There's no alcohol, no peroxide, and no ammonia, and it does cover grays. Like you can't lose with this. Like you just can't lose with this. So. I really like these. So I highly, highly recommend these. Um, and I believe they're, the Via Naturals Black is quite popular. So I do recommend giving these a shot. Because they're like super cheap. Like they win all around. Like five bucks. Like it's cheap. And it's good. And it's on the more natural side. And it covers gray. You can't lose with that. You know? Okay, we're on our last three dyes, you guys. Oh, it's like, hallelujah. <laughs> yes, I'm getting like out of breath and I'm getting really tired because I've been talking and sitting here for a long time. <laughs> okay, so I have one crazy color, burgundy red color. I told you I thought I had another a red one and I do. So I don't think I've tried this one yet though. The burgundy. I tried, I think, the other one, but not this one. Okay, now I do have one of the Enrage colors. This is the Neon Red, which again, it's a demi permanent, so it's more long term. So that's why I haven't used it, and I probably won't use it because I get bored of my colors too much. Okay, now this one. Ha! This is the Clairol Professional Jazzing Hair Dye. This is in the shade Ruby Red. This one is a gentle one, and it doesn't have any ammonia, and there's no peroxide, but I just haven't used it yet. I don't know why I haven't used it. I don't know. I really should use it. I do want to give this a shot. I will definitely let you guys know when I try this, and I will upload a picture on Instagram, but I haven't tried it yet, so yeah, I really do want to try this one. So when I dye my hair red again, I think I will, but I feel like dyeing it purple because I had it red, and you can kind of see the red a little bit, well, not too much. I kind of feel like you can see it a little bit, though, in certain places. Um, but I want to go to purple next, so I guess it'll be a good while. Okay, you guys, that is the end of this video. Oh my gosh. <laughs> show you guys these dyes so this is the manic panic dye in rock and roll red i emptied this out i love this color so much like i totally emptied it out okay now this dye i am throwing this away i have been dying to throw this away this is the um directions the riche dyes in the shade rose red it's such a pretty color like look at that but it bleeds so bad. Like, it destroyed my shirt. It destroyed my pills. It destroyed my sink. It is a destructive dye. So I literally wrote on it, don't use again. Like, can you see the writing? <laughs> don't use or something. Stain. See? <laughs> 
like it's so bad but it's such a popular color because i've seen many youtubers who dye their hair a lot use this color and it is beautiful but i just can't deal with the damage like it's just horrible so i'm tossing this like yeah i just it's unfortunate but it's going in the trash I guess that will be the end of this video and thank you guys for watching and if you stuck in the whole way pat on the back because this was a long video so I hope you guys got a lot out of this and it helped you kind of decide what's out there for you and what's best for you so I hope you got a lot of it and thumbs up if you like this video I spent so much time on it and I exhausted myself with this video so it was a lot of work and again it's a huge collection I'm not gonna lie so yeah, so, yes, thank you guys for watching. Ciao.